Hola. I, um, in case you can't see, I got a haircut. <laughs> I, um, yeah. It was sad to let it all go. <laughs> I, um, my brother says I'm turning more and more into a boy every day. <laughs> Remind me to kill him later. Again. <laughs> so anyways, uh, there's not really much to say. <laughs> I, um... Well, I'm kind of pissed off right now, because, um... Well, my parents said just yesterday that we were going to take my dog on, um... On our vacation. Uh, but... Then today, they, um... They told me that their friends are going to take care of him. So, just one day. I swear, I'm schizophrenic or something. Um, and I was really excited about taking Cody, that's my dog's name, along with us. But, oh well. <sighs> but I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm really mad about that. I, um... Don't ask me why I'm wearing this awesome hat thing. It's just really awesome. So therefore, I wear it. Um, I... I don't know. I, um, I'm kind of... You can kind of see the bags under my eyes. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's just... It's been kind of weird. I just um, finished my uh, session at the camp I was at. It's a uh, two-week session. We get the, but we get the, um, we get the weekend off. We don't have to go on the weekend, but um, uh, so you know it's a Sunday, so I go to church on Sundays because I'm a Christian. Um, and. This morning's uh, sermon was actually, it was really cool. Like, I don't exactly know how to describe it. Like, mm. <sighs> Like, it's kind of like how, um, it's, well, I guess it's, it's like, kind of about, like, if God loves us so much, why does he let us suffer? Um, why does he let all these bad things happen? And so, um, it was really inspiring to me because, like, my friends, um, some of my friends, they, um, they've been asking the exact same question. So, if you're one of those people, listen up. Um, so, well, basically the pastor, well, he was like a, kind of like a substitute pastor because sometimes our actual pastor, our senior pastor isn't there so we have like little other pastors that that fill in for him and so um today was a I forget his last name but his first name was Kevin so and pastor Kevin he said um he kind of explained it like this he like the guy always thought it was kind of like um it's not God that lets us go through these things it's Satan um, like, people, like, they get their, um, they get this idea in their heads that, like, um, that God is this benevolent, um, like, he is benevolent. He's so, so amazing. I, um, I mean, there's no one that loves us more. You can find your soulmate, and he slash she will never love you as much as God does, but, um, 
uh, it's like um, people get this idea in their heads that like because he's um, so so kind that like he um, that he shouldn't be letting the, these things happen to us. You know how um, you know that old saying um, saying why do bad things happen to good people? Well, in the end, um, God does reward us for being good, or rather, for being, um, for believing in Him and following His word. Um, he lets us go to heaven, which, you know, um, a certain person is actually afraid to go to heaven. Um, because, uh, she thinks that, like, she's kind of scared of, like, eternal, um, of eternally, like, like, having no problems. She thinks that, like, it's the problems and getting through them that make life worth living. But, like, um, life, we weren't supposed to have problems in the first place. Um, we were supposed to live in a place just like heaven. But, um... A literal heaven on earth um but Satan came in and screwed that up for Adam and Eve created sin and here we are so um I'm sorry I'm, I'm a little teary-eyed right now I just listened to a really um a really moving song I'm not gonna say anything unless you ask it but you know what shut up Kelly <laughs> so um like I did that like yeah I um see Pastor Kevin he said it's like um for those of us who do believe in God it's these things are kind of like trials the suffering it's like trials like if we can get through these things without turning our backs away from God, then he knows that we truly love him. And, um, I remember there was this one quote from this, from some guy, I forget his name, and, um, and he said something like, um, something like, uh, can you honestly say to your lover, I um, I don't love your money, your beauty. I don't love your family, I, or well, <laughs> I don't love you because of your beauty, because of your family, because of your car, because of your money. I just love you. If you can say that to your lover or to your best friend, can you say it to God? Truly, honestly, say it to God. I um. I kind of like that. <laughs> it kind of tests your faith. Um, and if you can say yes to that, then go ahead. You're free. Well, what I mean by free, oh, I don't exactly know what, to say, what I'm saying. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I, um, well, I, I'm, I'm not really, I don't remember what I rambled on for the past, like, five minutes on, but, um, I guess, like, if you guys still have any questions about anything, um, anything concerning my faith, you can always ask me. I mean, I'll be happy to, um, answer as best I can. Um, I might get a little off topic because my mind works in crappily ways. My mind works works crappily but you know you can always ask me I'll try I'll try and um and uh answer the best I can so peace out